Ok, class. Let's continue. Okay, number 25. Okay, the requirement. The amount to be recognized in 2023 profit or loss okay, related to the bond investment. Again, that will depend on the classification. Okay, so in this case, the cash flows are SPPI and the bonds are, ayun, nakaspecify, held for collection. So SPPI for collection only, then FA at AC. At dahil FA at AC yan, ang i-recognize sa PNL, interest. And how to get interest income? Previous CA times effective rate. Okay? So unfortunately, hindi binigay yung initial amount. So we need to compute. Okay? So here's the background. Acquired on July 1, 2023. Okay? Face value, 4 million. Nominal rate, 4%. Term, 5 years. Okay. And pay interest semi-annually. July 1 and January 1. So, July 1, interest payment date. So, acquired siya on interest payment date. So, yun nga lang, dahil semi-annual, i-convert natin yung rate. So, nominal, 4 divided by 2. So, semi-annual, 2%. Okay, so yung prevailing rate at the time of purchase, 6%. So 6 divided by 2, ang market rate that time, 3%. Okay, at dahil 5 years yan, times 2, 10 payments. So to get the purchase price, discount the cash flows using the market rate. Okay, so principal, 4 million. Interest, 4 million times 2% semi-annual rate. Okay, the cash flows discounted at what rate? 3%. Okay, 10 periods. Okay, so kinonvert natin yung rates into semi-annual. Okay, tapos kung 5 years yan, so times 2, so 10 payments. Yeah, 10 periods. <clears throat> so the cash flows the principal and interest discounted at the market rate, okay, 3%, okay, 10 periods. Total, that's the purchase price. Okay, in this problem, walang transaction cost. So dahil walang transaction cost, yung market rate na 3%, yan na din ang effective rate. Actually, matrabaho to kung mayroong transaction cost. Kasi kung may transaction cost yan, you need to recalculate the effective rate. So kasi nga, okay, kung yan ay FA at AC, purchase price, yan ay yung fair value plus transaction cost. So dahil sa transaction cost na yun, magbabago ang effective rate. So hindi siya magiging 3%. So doon, magiging matrabaho ang okay, problem. So kasi mag interpolate ka na naman doon. So ng bagong effective rate. Okay? So again, in this case, no transaction costs involved. So, yan na rin ang effective rate, 3%. So, kaya yung interest income, 2023, that is the previous CA. So, that's the purchase price times effective rate. Interest for 6 months, July to December. At saan i-recognize yan? Profit or loss. Okay, number 25, letter A. Okay, by the way, given ha, yung fair value okay, ng investment at December 31, 23. Ito yon yung fair value. So, lagyan mo ng note, that should be disclosed. So, pinapadisclose yan ng PFRS 7. Pero yun nga, yung change in fair value, not recognized. Dahil yan ay FA at AC. So, although pinapadisclose ha, yung fair value. Okay, 25, letter A. 26, computation of the total amount paid. Okay, so kung dito sa 25, acquired on interest payment date, dito naman sa 26, acquired between payment of interest. 
So actually kung in between, so meron ng uh, iko-consider lang natin diyan yung passage of time, yung amortization of discount or premium. So yung effect noon on the present value. Okay?